I am here with Kaysa Marie from New South Wales in Australia, and I'm here to ask them about their love story. And so my first question is always, how did you meet? We had some mutual friends in Australia and I went to Holland and they said, if you ever come to Holland, you've got to stay with the family. And I did that and I met Case through this, this family. And so I was on holidays with a girlfriend. Uh, he was in a band with one of the brothers of the family I was staying with. We went to a party and he was there and that's how I got to meet him. Yes. And I walk in and I go, hello, there she is. I knew straight away. That was it. You knew immediately? Absolutely. <laughs> so you're um, the drummer of the band. You're the drummer the of the drum band. Yeah. The drummers always get the girls, don't they? <laughs> But was, I still remember the image. He had this red velvet coat and black fur collar and beautiful face. And it was just and like. And I had jet, yep. jet black hair in those days, you know. That's the one. So, That's to the a one. Dutchman, that was very appealing. <laughs> So, so then, okay, so you met each other at this party for the first time. You've heard him play in the band. And, and then, so then what happened? Like, I mean, what was your first date? Well, um, actually, the party was put on by this family I was staying with because I'd met someone at a dance and he wanted to take me out. And they said, oh, no, 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 no. Very protective they were. We'll have a party and, you know, you can socialise there. But Case was there and this guy was sitting, we were sitting together and Case was on the, was on the like, other side. Like and, this. and the whole time we were talking to each other, this poor guy didn't get a look in. <laughs> he was, he was in, the, in between, this is the guy that you were supposed to be set up with and he was sitting in between the two of you. <laughs> I think he, he really... <laughs> He wasn't really there, like. Yeah, yeah. and so. Um, he was no competition, was he, Case? No, no. Anyway, <laughs> um, I didn't know how Case felt, and he didn't know how I felt. And Leah and I uh, left Holland, and we went on our a European trip. And we got to Italy, um, and um, we'd stayed with her family in Greece, and. When we got to Italy, um, I said, look, you go and have a bit of time with your family and I'll go back to Holland for a couple of weeks and then I'll, fly, I'll come over back to Greece so we can go home. And so I went back to Holland and um, we met up again. And I'll never forget, uh, I was in the car with, with the other boys, the brothers in the family, and... They were a family of nine, by the way, so. There were a awesome. lot of them. <laughs> so um, there was a rehearsal night for the band and, and Jacques said to me, uh, do you want to come? I said, yeah, I'll come. And I was sitting in the front of the car and we went to pick Case up and he opens the door and he's got his little bag of chips, you know, a typical Dutchman with his bag of chips. And he, I open the door and he goes, oh, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> I really thought I'd lost her and didn't know whether she was going to come back or not. And that was like, okay. So then a whole a whole lot of things happened and Maria then had to go back and see that girl in Greece again. And that time we were just having a bit of a moment together the in the room. The night before I left. The night before. And I'm kind of, I'm actually flicking through a magazine and I was reading my star sign. And I, I just interpreted it the way I wanted to. And it was more or less along the lines of like, you know, if you don't say anything now, it'll never happen. That's how I read it. And so I put the, the magazine down and I said, look, I'd like to talk to you. I kind of really sort of much uh, like you. <laughs> and then Maria said pretty much the same. So then we went off for a little walk and we had a, our first kiss. And then the next day we said goodbye. She she oh, went to the train station and she went back to, to Greece. And then, but before I left, he says, I'm coming to Australia for you. 
That's that's right. Okay. So then, it took nine months for the authorities and everything to get in order, and we have letters, all numbered, like about hundreds of letters. I would probably write one or two a day, if sometimes three, and they were all numbered. So, so if 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 they were coming in a different so sequence, sequence, so the story would make sense. So you'd read them in 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 in, in, uh, in numerical sequence. order, and so yeah, so the, it took nine months. So Maria was a, like he left in January or something, and I, I got yeah, here in yeah. uh, December nineteen seventy-two. Wow. Yeah. Um, and so you wrote all these love letters. That is so nice. I had no idea. What a nice yeah. thing to look back on. And how long yeah. have you been together now? 49 years this year. 49 years. Okay, 49 years you've been married or together? Uh, married, sorry. Married. So um, we met, um, the first meeting was December 71. Um then I left in 72 and Case came in December 72 and we married in June 73. Wow. Okay. And he so proposed to me in the letter. Uh, in the in letter April. before you even got to Australia, you'd opposed to her. Okay. And we hadn't we hadn't been out together or had time alone really um, before then, but we just seem to click. It just happened, you know. And there's so many similarities, that, you know, like physical similarities, like little tiny hands. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. So you didn't even. You've only had one real official date and one yep. kiss, and or one yes, and then and then you. That's it, and some letters, and you proposed to her. Wow, and so how long did you have to wait for her reply? Because this is happening by mail. Oh, well, uh, it was probably about a week. Yeah, to, on average, it would take about a week. For the, not like at the moment, it takes like three months. And yeah. I'll, I'll just tell you something, because um, I'm Greek origin. Right. And my mother wanted more than anything for me to marry uh, it, within the religion and within the eth ethnic background. So um, before I'd gone away, um, she tried to arrange something and uh, it didn't, oh, I didn't like him at all. Anyway, um, so Dad said um, they okayed my trip because I was going with a Greek girl to Greece and then doing Europe. So when, when I came home, Dad said, so did you meet anybody? I went, oh, yes. <laughs> he said, was he Greek? I said, no. He says, oh, no, don't tell your mother. Leave it to me. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Oh, my gosh. That's like in my big fat Greek wedding where they wanted her to marry a Greek. They wanted her exactly to marry Exactly like that. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. And so you did the big fat Greek wedding. You so you arrive in Australia, you've asked her to marry to marry right. you, Case. And so then um what happened when you arrived in Australia? You you didn't have a job. Uh well I did actually, because one of the uh conditions. prerequisites and conditions of, of the Australian government was that I had to have somebody vouch for me that I would have a job and that I would have a place to stay. And Maria's dad organized it for me. When I arrived, well, I just basically stayed with the family. And I've got to say, like, Case and my dad were very close. They um, had a fantastic relationship. And if it wasn't for my dad, I wouldn't have been allowed to marry him. And for years, my mother didn't want anything to do with Case. And it wasn't until she got dementia that she <laughs> loved him. But, but, but. <laughs> She forgot about her feelings about the relationship. Oh, so the timeline, if you look at the timeline, though, I got here in December. We got engaged in April the next year and, and basically married mm -hmm. in, in June. So it all went fairly quickly because um, I was too young and naive 
and should have just lived somewhere else. But because I was with the family and under scrutiny for Maria's mum all the time, of course, I left myself open for a lot of criticism and everything. And as a matter of fact, I was taking her criticism of me really seriously. And one day we went out to the beach and I was crying and I was losing weight and I wasn't really happy. And we had decided at that stage that uh, Maria says, well, look, why don't you go back to Holland and then I'll sort things over here and I'll come over to Holland. And so uh, that evening I went to bed and I said, okay, let's do that. And I was quite happy with that because I was really having a difficult time, you know, trying to process the whole thing. However, a little bit later on in the evening, Maria knocked on the door. She came to me and said, listen, I really wasn't very honest with you. She said, if you were to go back to Holland, I wouldn't really be able to come. And she said, okay, well, then I won't go back. And then from there on, we put things in motion. And it was only shortly after that, we basically approached Maria's mum and said, mum, can we get engaged in uh, April and married in June? Yeah, no, uh, uh, okay, organized, done. Done, okay, so you'd already asked her to marry her in a, to marry Marie in a letter, but this was yes. the more formal, this is the formal one with your family. I still basically had to run it past the family to get their approval. And even though re- reluctant as it was, uh, we managed to convince them that that was the right thing. And definitely there thanks, was, there thanks was, to Maria's dad. dad. Yeah, there was no issue with dad. Dad adored Case right from the beginning. He could see we were, we were going to be happy and that we loved each other. You know, any yeah. other arranged marriage would have been not so good for Maria. I mean, you know. Right, right. if you don't love someone, it's tough. Let's see if we married. <laughs> We married for the right reasons. Any other marriage would have been for the wrong reasons. And my reason. father said that. But, uh, so um, he had two younger sisters, uh, and one of them was had the opportunity to marry a friend of her brother's who was a doctor, and but he was not, not Greek. And um, Dad's father interfered and wouldn't let let the marriage go ahead. So then she became um, engaged and oh, and eventually married this Greek man who ended up abusing her, beating her, and, you know, it turned out a horrible relationship. And my father said, I'm not going to force you into anything since it's going to be your choice because whatever decision you make, you will live with. Yes. You know? Yeah. And he was really open and understanding, where his mum was was sort of grown up with, with strict rules about this is how you're going to lead your life. And, you know, she was brought up that way and she wanted to do that with us, where his dad was uh, more open to a lot of other things. So, yeah. Good thing you had one parent on your side. And okay, so now I know you knew, I, I always ask, when did you know? And you knew immediately when you saw Marie, it was like, no doubt. And when did you know Marie? Like, when did you think, wow, I think Case is the guy? I liked him right from the beginning. I was a bit naive. I had no experience with, with men and I was very self-conscious, um, didn't think of myself as being attractive and so I was a bit concerned to throw myself into something and get hurt so I sort of held back a bit and um like after after about a month of him being here I thought yeah this is it you knew you knew it was it. So you waited. And so the love letters didn't get to you it was when he actually arrived in Australia and you went, I think this is for real. He's here. Yes. And He's to here. think, you know, of what he gave up to come out. From yes. Him. Like, yeah. He had to be committed to, to go so far. And, and then I think what sealed it was when I said, look, go home and I'll come. And then when I was honest with him, I said, look, I don't think. I would leave Australia. He said, well, that's it. And then I knew he was. Yeah, the prospect yeah. of not being together just 
you know. Yeah, I think this was just something that I wasn't going to entertain, so it was so all you, good. I have to say that we probably took a big gamble, but but I yeah. think it was. I mean, Maria was kind of relatively naive. I w I was in in many many ways, but not when it came to you know people of of the other sex because I had a few girlfriends. I was probably an early starter, if you like. So I was fairly sort of confident that that I knew that that was it. Right. That's okay. what. I, that's who I needed. I was put on this planet to meet this lady. Perfect. And you knew that the second you saw her, you went, "Oh my gosh!" When that's I saw her, I said, "That's that's the one." Now I know where they've been waiting for. <laughs> and and we were both very young. I mean, um, Case was nineteen when. I met him and I was 21. So, and we got married um, when I was 23 and you were 21. 21. But we were lucky in the sense that we, we, we both obviously worked, we saved hard, we did, we did Maria's Europe, European trip all over together. And I think at that stage, on our own together, well, we traveled what for three, four months. Yeah, we did a lot of getting to know each other. I think. So you got married. Did you convert to Marie's religion because that was a big issue for her mom? I didn't really have to. I mean, I was already baptized in in a Christian church. Um, but let me let me say, um, that's one thing we decided. Like there was no expectation on either side to change religions. Okay. But I went along and we did um, Greek Easter, uh, Christmas. Uh, we christened our kids in the Greek Orthodox Church and it was never, it was no big deal. I mean, I, I was fine with that because that was never going to be anything that was going to come between us. Right. And, and for me, it was just important that the kids had some sort of religious basis to work off and as it turned out, they got married in different churches, and even one of our daughters got married, or oh, rather, uh, re christened, baptized in a, in, a, in a different church, which is all fine because that's their lives. So, how did you propose? When you did, you just go up like you just had a conversation? Was it a? Yeah, no, I was just kind of writing, and I, I think it was like a little poem or yeah. something. And in it, I would I kind of wrote something along the lines of uh, something like. Da, 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 you be my wife and you know it wasn't it wasn't probably as romantic like you know going on one knee and coming you know with the ring and that sort of stuff but it was definitely there to say look I'm coming to Australia my intentions are definitely are intentions are that we uh, I think, like us to I be married it was all very romantic from the first letter I received and mm. and then there were there were tapes, he'd make tape recordings on a little oh. cassette tape. Okay. And um, my mother would get upset every time she saw a letter. So my next door neighbour, who was about 70 at the time, would race to the letterbox before my mother got home and tape all my letters and keep them aside for me so oh. that mum wouldn't destroy anything or get anything. But he sent flowers to me and, yeah, he did lovely things like that. We had the engagement party more for my mother's sake too so she could make a, a thing of it, like, more in the Greek traditions and, yeah. Okay. And, and then it took, it took a couple of months to organise the wedding. Um, so, you know that was sort of leading up to it. And we made the decision and we thought, you know, we just got to get out of the situation where Case is sort of being scrutinised by mum every five minutes and, yeah. No. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and, and, and really, like, when it comes to our whole relationship and everything, and once again, it comes back to my sort of immaturity because, you know, I thought I knew it all, but I was only 20, 21. Uh, the only thing I would ever, ever change, I would do everything else exactly the same. What I should have done is simply turn up there, stay a couple of weeks, look, probably rent a little flat or something and just go and visit Maria, maybe go out with the chaperone and stuff like that and not be under the scrutiny 24-7. And I think that was a big mistake that I made. 
However, you know, you can't change it. It's just yeah. the way things were. But, yeah, if I have my time all over again, that's the only thing I would change for the rest. We do it exactly the same. Exactly the same. Okay. And so my last question for you guys is um, what is your wisdom? And, like, what makes you work? And what advice do you have for other couples? Friendship. Well, definitely friendship. I think for us also, we, we always sort of set ourselves goals, like as in maybe something new we'd like to buy, a trip that we're planning, and we always sort of had similar ideas to that and we always had something to work towards and look forward to together. And so to be excited about something that you create and something to look forward to that you're going to do together. or going to get together. So have some mutual goals. Okay, yeah, that makes yeah, total absolutely. sense. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. for me anyway. That's, yeah. I, think I, that's... mean, I think, you know, um, I think like uh, during our life, um, our focus was always our family and our children. And yeah. whatever work we did, because we had several different businesses um, and we worked pretty hard, um, yeah, it was all uh, to bring us to a point that we could educate them the best and also give us, every four years we had a holiday. We didn't have holidays all the time because it wasn't always that easy when you got your own business right. to try and get away. So we aimed for every four years and then we'd travel overseas so the kids got to meet their other family, their Dutch family, um, yeah, and it turned out really wonderful. But the, the main focus were, were the children. And people sort of say to us, well, how did you manage to work together? But as you know, like when we did the, the cleaning, right. Case would be doing one thing and I'd be doing another. Yeah, and we'd, you weren't, yeah. Yeah, so we're not, we weren't in each other's way, way yeah. really. No. We do different rooms at different, at, yeah. at different times. Thank you very much for sharing your story. I love it. I love it. I love the <laughs> romance, the letters. What a, what a keepsake. Well, well, it, well, it was very special. And, and um, you know, to think I went all the way to Holland to meet my life partner and, I'd like you know, to and, and I really do think that we were meant for each other.